Again, welcome back. It sounds too good to be true, but nevertheless, it is. This uh, pink powder that you can see over there on the table is freeze-dried extract of what is known as the Miracle Berry. And the miracle is that it alters your taste buds to make even the sourest stuff like vinegar or lemon juice taste wonderfully sweet. You put it on your tongue like we just did during the break. We haven't tasted any of this stuff yet, so we don't know, but we are told that lemons taste like toffee, vinegar like sherry, and Guinness apparently tastes like chocolate milkshake. There's a huge internet rush on this stuff now, largely due to journalist and writer Tom Mangold, who recently made a documentary all about it, and he's here now with wine expert Ollie Smith, who can explain <laughs> what the berry does to our taste buds. Apparently it destroys the taste of wine, uh, which is one of the reasons why you're not having any tonight, because you're uh, <laughs> Absolutely true. I'm having a glass of wine afterwards, and I have had it. I, I haven't had the freeze-dried stuff. I had the real berry. Right. Okay. Um, can you tell us about it? What is it? it a just a little berry growing somewhere it, it's in It's a very small berry. It's about the size of an olive. It yeah. grows on the west coast of Africa. It was discovered in 1725. Uh, the locals ate it because their food wasn't very nice and it helped uh, lift the food. And it was finally uh, taken up in 1974 mm. by a couple of American entrepreneurs who realized its huge, and I mean huge, potential. For what? For entertainment? Well, because you can have, no, 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 you can have junk food without the junk. This stuff um, is better than sugar. They ran a double blind test on school children in Boston using ice lollies. Half of them had ice lollies with sugar, half of them had ice lollies with a miracle berry. All the kids preferred the miracle berry. Which one. is uh, not nearly as harmful no as, no uh, as processed sugar. No, no, no calories. calories. Okay. And it doesn't sort of rot away at your teeth or anything like Absolutely that? Absolutely not. So obviously both big sugar and big saccharin got very, very worried about it. Now which this is is, now which this is so that kind of lobby is presumably why we haven't seen more of it since the well, 70s. Well, that's a conspiracy uh, theory, but I do think there may be something to it. There certainly right. was in the mid-70s. Well, before we, we, we have a taste test, we've got lemons, we've got vinegar, we've got wine, Guinness, uh, a couple of other things. Um, Ollie, how, what does it do? Unlike spices or sugar, you don't mix it with food, you put it, well you can do, but for, for the purposes of this you can just put it straight on your tongue about two or three minutes before you start to imbibe or eat. And what does it do to the taste buds? It physically, physiologically, it changes the way you taste. And for me this is really exciting but I'm also absolutely terrified. I've no idea exactly what it's going to do. But what it does is bind to your taste buds mm. with a substance called miraculin, which you find in there. <laughs> and it basically, it's, like it's a brilliant <laughs> name, isn't it? But the name of the Super berry hero. itself, Sincipulum uh, Dulcificium, it sounds like a Harry Potter spell. Yeah, I just think yeah, it couldn't be yeah. more miraculous. But it basically alters the way you taste. In your palate you've got got sweet, sour, savoury, bitter, and you've got all those things going on, salt, all those things to taste. This one reverses sweet with sour. Okay. Well, in that case, anything could happen. Let's all get hold of a nice them. slice of lemon. We put a lot on uh, <coughs> during the break. I took, I, I've had quite a lot. I'm, I'm a bit nervous here we go. I'm, I'm really this nervous. Should taste horrible, it should taste, well, sweet, I think. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, it tastes like thrilling. this fantastic lemonade. It's it like tastes, a beautiful it, it, lemon uh, jelly. When I had it, it tasted like a meringue. Mm, yeah. yeah. Gorgeous, isn't it? Just like a meringue. It's not too sweet. lemons are really good for you. This is That's great. A, this is remarkable. Thank isn't you, it? Africa. So when, when I mean, when, when when you order it abroad, a citron presse, which is one of my favourite drinks, yes. which is fresh lemon with mm. water, I have to drown it with sugar to make it mm. even palatable. Take some of this. But if I had some of this, I would. If you had this to. before, yeah. absolutely, it'll make yeah. uh, make it taste absolutely yeah. delicious. Have you done the vinegar taste test? I've I've done the vinegar, and it tasted like a cheap vodka. Subject <laughs> on which <laughs> I can speak for better, hours. Better. You know. yeah. Judy, here we go. Okay, so this is. Oh, this is it smells properly of vinegar. I'm not sure. Right, this smells of vinegar. It smells of vinegar. It tastes good because 70% of your flavours come from smell, olfactory receptors. Oh, down that's the hatch. That's still pretty sharp. <laughs> it's still a bit sharp. That's yeah, still pretty really sharp. Not tasting enough. Yeah. It's doable. You can, yeah. Oh, my goodness me. I think uh, we need to take a little bit more of the magic pink powder. It burns a little on the yeah. on the, on that's the right. tongue. That's right. Yeah. On the, on that's the right. tongue, it's fine. Do you need it's to we take some more powder? Yeah, let's do let's it. Let's do some yeah. I mean, if you are, Richard, absolutely. <laughs> you and Mark, let's get into this. <laughs> this mm. is beginning to look a bit it's suspect. It's phenomenal. I don't know what you're missing, really. Miracle berry. It's true. There's a lot of middle-class dinner parties in America where this if you like, is the, is the harmless... Yes, I went to, well, it wasn't a dinner party, uh, but I went to a Miracle Berry party in Washington to do the radio documentary, and they had all these things spread out, rather than the way that you have. Mm -hmm. And it was fascinating, but there is a down, there, there's an immediate downside, mm -hmm. which is that it lasts for about two hours, and nobody's quite cracked that yet. They don't okay. know how to deal with that. It kills wine stone dead. Well, say that now, no, even no, before you have really. it. Forget it. Wine... Really? It, um, yeah. What's it going to taste like? It, like goat's... Thing. Coats, Coats, yeah. Coats thing. Coats urine. Okay. Great. Well, well you're a wine buff. I am so a wine buff. So you give us a description of this. All right, okay. I will do. Here we go. Smells of wine. 
Oh my goodness me, that's acrid, <laughs> rank, <laughs> utterly disposable. Yeah. Don't go there, people. Do yeah. not mix the mirrors. Yeah. So like stuff with antifreezers. I tell you something. It's, it's not oh. big sugar or big cyclamen that will, that will go for you. It's oh. big wine that will try and stop this. It's so yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's tragic. And, it's so and the, bad problem is, the problem is now this will stay with you for about two hours. Oh, right? That's why you're not taking it. You've got that's a big, why I'm not taking it. What does this mean we can drink over the next two hours? We need to find something brilliant that we can drink over the next two hours. Well, this is Guinness. Now, we've been told this makes this taste chocolatey. Okay, mm -hmm. well, let's bring it on. Cheers. Cheers. Down the hatch. It does. It, I can still taste it's, the Guinness. It's, it's like Guinness Nesquik with alcohol. It's the finish, though, that's chocolatey. The first hit is very Guinnessy, but afterwards it's much creamier, much more chocolatey. Mm. Delicious. But if I had my eyes closed, I'd say this was like fizzy, fizzy Nesquik or a fizzy Cadbury's chocolate drink, yeah. to name many other popular brands, um, which, as it goes down, turns back to Guinness. It's amazing how the trickery works, because it's our little, little antennae on our palate that are literally just being fooled into the, thinking. The, remember, there's a whole serious side to this. Yeah. You know, potentially... That's why you're here, Tom. In terms... <laughs> to keep, to keep us grounded. <laughs> serious guy. Okay. First of all, in terms of uh, uh, diabetes, this has got huge potential okay. for diabetics, enormous. Mm. In terms of having junk food without the junk, in mm. terms of dealing with obesity, which is, after all, a pandemic now, mm. this has got huge potential. And can it be grown sort of en masse? Can you get... Yes, it can. Well, you've got the, it, uh, in the 70s, it was grown in Jamaica and Puerto Rico. They're growing it now in Florida. I haven't tried the freeze-dried version. I've tried the actual berry, which you can get through uh, through the internet as well. But the potential is enormous. Can you order the seeds, seedlings? Can you can you grow it in a greenhouse? No, no, no. It has to. No, it's a fussy plant, and it, uh, the berry doesn't survive very long. So some people have even said that it might help chemotherapy patients yeah. to get a nasty taste the in the mouth. The metallic taste goes away. Mm. Exactly. Uh, yes. So, so does the Brussels okay. use it? I'm, I'm actually, but this is my third. I'm enjoying this enormously. It sort of goes quite fresh and lettuce. You know, it tastes a bit like. I think it tastes like chestnuts. It Bingo! It like. It's bizarre. It's much lighter mm. than a sprout, and it's sort mm. of. I think this could be the saviour of the sprout. <laughs> well, Tom, <laughs> thank you for bringing us the strangest, most intriguing item that we've, uh, we've had for months. Can I have the show? wine without the berry? Yes. Later. <laughs> yes <laughs> yeah, go ahead, have okay. the wine. Help, help I'll have the Guinness. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mm. What's it called again? Just give us the name of the thing again. No. He the Sensibilum Dulficium. But we call it Miracle Berry. Miracle Berry will do. Okay, you can read up about it on the internet. And you can order it as well.